So we've been trying to work through some of the lingo associated with suspension bushings and components and vehicle components so you can deal with the customer a little bit better at the front desk. Maybe they'll understand you a little bit better in identifying the part and you'll understand them a little bit better if we all talk the same lingo. So today I want to look at the rear of the car in particular and talk about the difference between control arms and trailing arms, which often get confused as one and the same, but they're not. So the easiest way to think of them, first of all, is control arms, if here's a picture of the rear of the car going forward, are the arms that connect basically the hub or the wheel and come back and connect to the chassis. Effectively, they have control of the whole wheel assembly. They connect it to the vehicle. That's why they're called control arms. They always run east-west, across the car. That's another way to remember them. And they're big, usually quite chunky devices because they have to control that whole hub. A trailing arm, on the other hand, if we look at a car from the same, this is looking along the side. They'll typically be an upper and a lower like that. And trailing arms are exactly that. If you think, they trail, they fall back. And that's what they do. So they're longitudinal in the car. And when you actually accelerate in a rear wheel drive car, the load goes up that lower arm. That's what actually propels your car forward. So that's a trailing arm. That's a control arm.